What's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, Ooh. we are about to do a fun video. It's gonna be a fun video. You guys really loved when we did recently like ordering what the person in front of us ordered. So, we've been seeing a new trend go around. Same type of vibe. Basically, we go through a drive through and we order the healthiest thing they have on the menu to kind of show what healthy options you can get. And then we're gonna try them for the first time and give you our honest opinion on like yeah. how good they are. Because honestly guys, you guys know, obviously fast food has a bunch of bull crap. And it probably even the healthy stuff doesn't have the best ingredients but if you are on a budget and you're trying to like eat a little healthy but you don't have all the money to like go out and like cook your own food even though it is pretty cheap to like cook your own food and that's the better option well, sometimes you don't but have the time you don't have the time you try to hit up mcdonald's real quick get trying the good to watch stuff. your macros trying to watch your macros that's what we're gonna put y'all on and we're just gonna see how it goes i'm kind of nervous because honestly like there's probably not that many options but we're gonna we're gonna find the options for y'all and give yeah, we don't days. usually go to like like we're at McDonald's right now. No, we, we, usually, never we never go to McDonald's, so we're gonna like be trying out things for the first time. At yeah, all these places. <laughs> we're gonna be really trying. Give you out. honest opinions. <laughs> it's gonna go down. So, anyways, we're gonna get right into this video. We're at McDonald's first. Make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And comment hashtag fast food healthy in the comments before we start. Healthy fast food. <laughs> healthy fast food. That way. All right, let's go. Okay. Hi. Can I get your yogurt parfait with the fruit in it? Yogurt. Yeah, the fruit yogurt parfait. One second. <laughs> Off to a great start. <laughs> she doesn't even know what that is. Sorry, I, I don't think we're selling that. Oh, okay, you guys don't have that? Okay, uh, do you have the fruit and op maple oatmeal? Do we have oatmeal? Yeah. What? Uh, let's get the artesian grilled chicken sandwich. Can we get a- Sorry, did you say grilled chicken sandwich? <laughs> yeah. I have cooked real so much. Okay, can I get an egg McMuffin? Uh, yeah, we're not serving breakfast. <laughs> Bro, what? Dude, what? That's so awkward. Dude, I, ordered, I tried to order four different things and she said they don't sell them. She's like, oh, we got Big Macs, Quarter Pounders. I'm like, bro, that's not what I want. I want something healthy. I guess oh I want healthy gosh. food. Don't go in the <laughs> well, I guess you have to go in the morning. She said all those things were breakfast items. So like if we just went in the morning, we could get like the Egg McMuffin. We could get the parfait and get the But oatmeal. I thought you could order the Egg McMuffin any time of day, that's, I thought. Yeah, she tripping, but I don't even know. I went on this thing and it says the seven th healthiest things you can get at McDonald's. And it says the fruit and maple oatmeal, it's 310 calories, four grams of fat, 62 carbs, and six grams of protein. That's pretty good. And then it says the yogurt parfait is 150 calories, two grams of fat, 30 grams of carbs, and four grams of protein. That's not bad either. And then we're gonna get the uh, artesian grilled chicken sandwich. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think they sell that anymore though. That's like, she yeah, said that don't even, that even exist. The egg muffin is, this one has like ham on it, so it was 300 calories, 12, 12 grams of fat, 30 grams of carbs, and 18 grams of protein. So that's pretty decent, not like amazing. But guys, that was so awkward. That's a wrap, dude. That's a wrap. That's McDonald's for you. So Don't go awkward. to McDonald's. I thought we were gonna get some. I guess we could have ordered the hamburger. That, that's not healthy. <laughs> that's like horrible. It was on here. It's only 250 calories. It claims. <laughs> oh, we are up and I think you would just do the veggies instead of rice. I think. Oh. Uh, I think because that's the side. We're, we're looking at the menu, guys, trying to figure out all the healthy items. We're about to go through the drive-thru though. This one's gonna be good. I'm telling you guys right now, just a little sneak peek. This one's gonna be fire. This one is gonna. Be fire. All right, let's go. <clears throat> oh, thank you so much for choosing Panda Express. If you give this one moment, we'll be right with you. Thank you. Well, I'm excited for this one. Hi, can I get a plate with string bean chicken? What do you want for the side? Can I do mixed vegetables? All right, and then what did you want for that little entree? Um, the black pepper Angus steak. This is probably gonna be the healthiest place. Chick fil A next might be about the same, but dude, this I think might be this fire. This is the healthiest. This is gonna they have a lot of good options as long as you don't get. Thank you. Thanks, you too. I think the hardest part is like not getting like the chow mein yeah. and getting veggies instead. And like because... orange chicken, like all the, we'll see how it tastes is the thing, cause all the good stuff, you know, the chow mein, orange chicken, like, that's oh, a dude, lot I mean, of that's like 1500 calories, dude, like just for that. So we'll see. we got mixed vegetables with black pepper, Angus steak, and string bean chicken breast for a total of 450 calories. The whole entire plate is 450 calories. That's With that's that's a third of literally just a thing of chow mein and the orange chicken and probably not even near as much nutrition. Look Bro. how green that is. Dang! Also guys, 
this. Oh, and it smells good. Oh my gosh, it my does fork at, bro. Oh my gosh, let me get, dude, that's, that's legit. So that's like, that's legit, dude. The Black Angus steak was 180 calories, and we saw up there when we were up there that you could swap it for like the broccoli beef, and I think that was like one. That was 150 calories. 150 calories. But this is like, these are like bigger pieces of steak though, so like the nutrition might be, might be the same. Oh, is it a mushroom? Okay, so we'll give you guys the rundown of like everything individually. The Black Pepper Angus steak is 180 calories, seven grams of fat, 10 grams of carbs, 19 grams of protein just for that little bit right there okay and then the string bean chicken is 190 calories and nine grams of fat and 14 grams of protein and then the mixed veggies are 80 calories with 0.5 grams of fat 16 grams of carbs and it has four grams of protein actually so this whole plate is like this is fire this yeah is the entire fire. plate is 450 calories and how many grams of protein for the whole plate 37 that's grams. pretty freaking good dude that is pretty good let's try it also, because oh I know gosh. some people are like, mm, I know some people don't understand that kind of stuff. Protein gives you like your energy, and if you're trying to lose weight, you kind of want to cut back on your carbs and fat, depending on the diet. But yeah. you just want to keep like track of like balancing. If you're trying them. to like, yeah, if you're trying to do good, high protein, low carbs, and low fat. Mm. If you're trying to like lose weight, low carbs, you're trying to gain weight and gain muscle, high protein, high carbs. Dude, mm. just if it, if your plate looks like this, bro, you're gonna be good. Is all I gotta say, dude. Dude, this might be a highlight of the video. Do get some freaking green beans in there. Get some broth. Broccoli. Mm. Bro, I'm not even exaggerating this right now. This is fire. This is really freaking good. Is it for the no. Oh my gosh. Sam's gonna eat it all. Oh my gosh. Okay. really good. Scrap McDonald's, scrap Taco Bell. Go, go to freaking Panda Express, dude. Get some veggies and chicken. You're good to go. That's a wrap. I'm gonna give that whole plate uh, a 10. 10 out of 10. Okay, we are pulling up to Starbucks next. Arby's. Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? Doing good. What can I get started for you? Can I get the roasted red pepper egg bites? Yeah, what else can I do for you? And then, what different protein boxes do you guys have? Okay, can we get the egg and gouda one? And then we'll get a tall mango dragon fruit refresher. All right, that's it. Thank you. Mmm, guys, Starbucks has some decent options. Probably not for a lot of drinks, but a lot of food options that are like probably decently healthy. Ooh, oh, I'm excited for this one, dude. I am excited. Okay, should we start with the drink? Let's we'll start with the drink. Okay, so this drink is the mango dragon fruit refresher. Like it's a pretty popular drink yeah, on yeah, the yeah. menu. Uh, the tall, which is a small one, is 70 calories, zero fat, um, 18 grams of carbs, and then zero protein. And honestly, 18 grams of carb in a drink is kind of crazy. Well, so, I think it's the fruit probably. Yeah, so like Fruits. we wanted to say like if you are like wanting to get a drink, there's like the refreshers and stuff rather than getting like a frappuccino. But if you're really trying to like be healthy, just get some water. Like mm -hmm. honestly, whenever we go places, we just get water just because it's but unnecessary if you're sugars. Sweet. And, yeah, there's definitely good options. Like only 70 this, calories for this, like that's not bad, not that much sugar. Yeah, and it's 15 grams of sugar. But if you are trying to watch your carbs, like that's a lot of carbs just for a little tiny drink that you're gonna finish in two seconds. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're just some, if you're just thirsty and need a little refresher, get some water. Mm -hmm. It's buzzing though. It's buzzing. <laughs> it's buzzing though. I'm excited about this, dude. A freaking so this is the egg and gouda protein box. It has okay, it does have 20 grams of fat, but it has 26 grams of protein. The whole box is 530 calories. I look at this and I'm just like, this is like a lunch. You know what I'm saying? Like this is like 500 calories, a lot of protein, and it has some fat. But like if you just use this as like your lunch and you don't get like a drink, you just get some water. That'd be I pretty don't decent. Know. I feel like I wouldn't get that if I was on a diet because I feel like that would not fill me up really. Well, I'm just saying. But that's more like a snack to me. And it's like 530. calories. Calories. You know, I think if, if you weren't but like it, trying to lose health, weight, yeah. it'd still be like, it's like still healthy. But if you're trying to lose weight, I would probably like do yeah. something that would fill you up more. I'm just saying, when I worked at Starbucks, y'all, a few years ago, I would snack one of these on my, on my lunch. I'm just saying, and I was filled up. It is only a couple eggs, though. And if you didn't eat this like peanut butter and stuff, like it could be a lot less calories. But maybe just some eggs. Hater alert. Hater alert. I wouldn't order that. But Sam would. All right, y'all, hold on. Let me get a bite of that egg. Mmm. See, I, I would love probably... hard-boiled eggs, bro. This is like, this is six grams of protein right here. There's See, I don't like hard-boiled eggs, so I just would not eat that. But, Whatever, dude. you know what? If oh. you're like Sam, go for it. Do you want to put freaking cheese in here, too? Next up, we mm. got a spinach feta wrap. The whole thing is 290. Eight grams of fat. Okay, this is better for you. That it does have better 34 grams of carbs, but 20 grams of protein. So that would be a better, because that's like half the calories in this, and you get like a full wrap. Yeah, but there's not really chicken in it, I don't think. It's just like eggs and spinach and feta. Mm. It's like really hot. Bro, your boy just got 12 grams of protein just like that. How's that tasted? 
Uh-oh. 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 No? I was excited for Starbucks, bro. What's wrong with it? Mm. I don't know if the spinach just tastes nasty or if that was the bread. Guys, don't go to Starbucks. This is a wrap, dude. It looks I mean, kind of busted, like, though. It looks good. Let me try. Maybe you're just tripping today. Isn't that kind of weird tasting? No, it's not bad. I don't... It might be the spinach, but, like... Something tastes weird. But it's not bad. But, like, maybe someone would like it. Maybe I just don't like because it. Because this isn't, like, a flat bread. You know, it's, like, a less calorie bread and not, like, a tortilla. Well, I don't think I got any egg in it. That makes it a little better. That's pretty good. I would rate that, like, a 7. This, I would rate a 7 also. I'd rate this, like, a 4. The last thing we bought, 170 calories, 8 grams of fat, and 12 grams of protein. And you didn't say what they're called. They are the egg whites, the ro the roasted red pepper egg bites. And I think those are the, the least amount of calories because they have ones with bacon and they have like They have some... like cheese and stuff in them. So like this, this one's be... like the healthiest one, I think. Ooh. This All right, this is what hot. it looks like. I've never had one of these before, to be honest. Mmm. That was awesome. That is busting. Those oh. are good, dude. The egg bites. 12 grams of protein. That's pretty freaking good, dude. That is pretty freaking good. That's like a snack, though. That's definitely just so like So you a... could definitely guess one instead of the, the um, bacon one. Like, it still has oh, a lot yeah. of flavor. Like, you get that for lunch. Or not lunch. Like, that for breakfast. You swing by get, like, that's like two eggs right there. That's like a breakfast with, like, maybe you pick up, like, some oatmeal. I know they got oatmeal. We should have got oatmeal. They got, oh. like, oatmeal and stuff. Like, get that with some oatmeal, bro. You're cooking. That's like, that's or a yogurt. great breakfast. Or some yogurt. They got yogurt, too. Guys, we really slacked on the Starbucks room. They got yogurt and they got oatmeal there too so don't forget about those when you're going there for some healthy options let's get out of here okay we just pulled in to chick-fil-a this one's gonna be good how's it going good, how are you? good. can we get the greek yogurt uh parfait sure what's going granola or, par or uh granola guys what do we get we got some yogurt we got a fruit cup grilled chicken sandwich and grilled nuggets because grilled equals less calories and less fat and less carbs same amount of protein though mm. first up we got some water water baby zero calories zero 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 <laughs> okay first one for real is this grilled chicken sandwich it has 320 calories six grams of fat 41 grams of carbs and 20 grams of protein so that's for the grilled. so i'm, I'm sure the fried chicken salad is probably gonna have like 60 grams of carbs instead of 40 I think six, I said. Only six grams. That's actually pretty good. And if you're really trying to count the carbs, like you can just take like the top bun off and then it would be more like probably 25 grams of or carbs. Or in this case, take the bottom one and like use the lettuce as like, oh, you yeah. know, like hold the lettuce. Yeah, bro, you can just totally do that. That's actually not bad. And I mean, like obviously like you're getting a sandwich so you're going to have carbs, but if you're trying to cut back on calories, get it grilled instead of fried without cheese and yeah, stuff and like that. Yeah, you could maybe, if you, if you wanted to cut out the bun, like I don't know if they do lettuce wraps here, but you could ask for extra mm. lettuce on the side and maybe just like throw an extra piece yeah. of yeah, I'd be like top. zero carbs probably. Yeah. But pretty far though. Okay. And it tastes clean. Speaking of carbs. Fruit, oh, baby. Oh, this actually smells busted. So you gotta try this first then. Eh? Oh shoot. Okay, you read them that. All right. Try this. Fruit cup, baby. Mmm. You like it? Mm-hmm. That's fired. Okay, fruit cup has 50 calories, zero fat, 13 grams of carbs, and one gram of protein. So obviously there's carbs because you can't run away from carbs when it's fruit, but. How many carbs? 13. But I mean, it's fruit though. So it's like not like you're eating bread. It's better carbs for you. You know, it's like if you think about it like that, you can't run away from carbs. Like you're still gonna eat carbs, but get them in fruit instead of like a bunch of bread. Yeah, be but more this nutritious. was bussin'. Like this was 10 out of 10. Mm. Oh, this is fire too. Oh my gosh, that's like so refreshing. Okay guys, this is probably one of the best things you can get on the menu. Just straight up grilled chicken nuggets. It's just straight up chicken. It's 130 calories. You got one grams of carbs, three grams of fat, and 25 grams of protein. Like that's just straight up you straight chicken. You could literally just like eat these together. Boom, that dude, that's like what I'm talking about. And this oh, is like- Oh, we get the kale salad. They have a kale salad. You could like get the three of these and that'd be so mm. healthy. Oh my gosh, dude. That is so good. Like that is so good. That's, what That's I'm some about. good chicken. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. Okay, last but not least, we got this yogurt parfait and we got it with granola, but they put the granola on the side. Oh. And the granola says it has 70 calories and it has 10 grams of carbs in the granola. So if you're trying to cut that out, you can just do it without the granola because they do put it on the side. But with the granola, with everything, it's 270 calories, nine grams of fat and 13 grams of protein. 36 grams of carbs so without the granola it'd be 200 calories 26 grams of carbs and then seven grams of fat so it cuts out a little bit but probably don't taste as good <laughs> without a granola here you do that man i judge yogurts because i get like a light it's like a light and mm. fit one that tastes really good it's a really good vanilla yogurt and it's mm -hmm. 80 calories for like the whole cup and it has like what 12 grams of protein in it yeah so this is definitely like obviously guys like all this stuff is definitely better if you just go to a grocery store get it yourself cook it but from fast food stuff this is like the best options that granola looks yummy with like it's like little, little berries in it i see 
with fresh fruit. That looks fire, actually. Boom. Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is really good. That is like really good. Mmm. Dang, bro. That is good. Yeah, I'm trying to see the sugar. Oh, that's 26 grams of sugar. I was trying to see the sugar. That's a mm -hmm. lot of sugar. That's why it tastes so good. But still not horrible if you just get that for like breakfast or something. Yeah. Not bad, but there's definitely better options at the grocery store that have like zero sugar and like stuff like that. All right, y'all. Anyways, that's the end of the video. That's all the fast food places we're going for today. Going to today for today. We're done with the video. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed all of these different fast food places, different options if you're trying to eat healthy. If you want a part two with different places, let us know where you want us to go next. And we'll go to freaking McDonald's in the morning, guys. Get those for you but <laughs> anyways hope you guys enjoyed if you made it this far comment hashtag yogurt hashtag yogurt, hashtag yogurt and if you made it this far here's our post notification shout out we love and appreciate you if you guys want to our next video y'all yeah, already know, know what, what to, to do. do all right we love you guys and until next time but you don't care you're on the way keep moving like the scars aren't even there it's in the air like a blazing flare just there cause the